It's planting time for soybeans at Roy Stanley's farm in rural Maryland. Well, we hope to get 150 acres planted today. We're planted about, uh, total about 2,000, maybe 2,500 acres of soybeans. He's farmed this land for 50 years. This, this farm and my family's been around uh, a long time and I hope to continue it. I have my daughter in the operation. I have, I have four grandsons and I hope they'll be willing to farm. What you see right now in these fields is actually dead winter wheat. They plant this in the off season in order to prepare the soil for these. This is what a soybean seed actually looks like. The big question for farms all across the country right now is just how much will these little money makers bring come harvest? The intensifying trade war with China has caused the price of soybeans to plunge to their lowest level in a decade. The highest price I received for soybeans was $16 a bushel. And uh, right now they're down in the sevens. Half of U.S. soybean exports go to China, but that market has all but dried up after China slapped a 25% tariff on the crop last summer. Demand has dropped. China now buys its soybeans from Brazil and other markets outside the U.S. Roy Stanley says he could lose $400,000 this year. It's a huge hit to, the, to my farming operation, $400,000. We operate on about 10% profit. So the USDA has been spending billions of dollars to rescue farmers struggling under the weight of the trade dispute. Through the Freedom of Information Act, we got a database of all payments the USDA sent to farmers when the subsidies began in September through the end of March. It shows $7.7 billion in aid going to just over a half million farms. The most any farm has received is $938,000. The median amount is about $4,200. The data show Roy Stanley has received more than $120,000, but he expects a loss of almost four times that. We're looking at the future. We think we'd be more efficient, try to be more efficient, so we can uh, stay in business. We may or we may not be able to, time will tell. Mapping the payments by zip code shows most of the money going toward the hard hit Midwest, Illinois, Indiana, Minnesota at the top of the list. USDA has made aid available for nine different commodities, but we found 87% of the payments went toward soybeans, another sign the tariffs are dealing its heaviest blow to that crop. It's important to note that all this could go away tomorrow if China and the other nations would simply correct their behavior. China says they are responding to tariffs installed by President Trump. Roy Stanley says he supports the president 100 percent, even though his actions threaten the future of his farm. You're talking about my situation, and I think other farmers now, we're looking at the big picture that we think China were taking advantage of the United States through intellectual property and, and other thefts. So the farmer is willing to take a hit. A hit softened by billions of dollars in aid.